Hi, I'm Steve and welcome back to Abandoned. I am in Poynton. The bench does not lie. Um, this is not an abandoned station, however it doesn't like a preserved one, but it's not. It's the main line station um, that seems to have a bunch of preserved signs, which is really cool because I've just spoke to a guy on the platform that says the station master here is actually a rail enthusiast who's donated a bunch of these old signs and stuff to Network Rail, so that's brilliant. I'm glad I spoke to him. Look, Poynton. See, the sign does not lie because I'm, I'm pointing at it. Anyway, so uh, let's have a look around this nicely preserved, well not preserved, but this nicely laid out station and we'll have a quick look around and see what we can find. Sadly, this sign has had better days, but I imagine these guys can fix it up in no time because, well, they're good like that. Oh, a train. Hmm. So... I think we should go over to the other platform because there's more stuff on there. But while I walk over, we just need to go over why Poynton has such a proud railway heritage. Because obviously they are very proud of the railway heritage. But most people, most common people, don't really know why that is. Now, Poynton has a railway history dating back to the 1790s where they had wooden wagonways taking coal from the coal pits down into the town and onto the canal and the railways. And before that, the, uh, what was it called? Turnpike roads. So they're very proud of their railway history. But you don't really hear about Poynton in the same sort of context you hear about the Stockton and Darlington and Liverpool, Manchester and the Canterbury and Winstable Railway because they never ran steam engines back then. Obviously, 1790, they wouldn't have done. Yeah, there's a date. 1887. But, um, yeah, if I look at the old maps, and I've done the... Well, I've had a look at these old maps quite a lot. You can see that Poynton has a bunch of old railways. And I could probably make a whole series of videos on just pointing to abandoned railways. In fact, I am. That's why I'm here. So, <laughs> while I'm in Poynton, I thought I might just check out the station. There we go. There's the, uh, there's the date. Oh, another Pendolino. And there it goes. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to cut out that because I literally just stood there and watched it and there's no content. So, I'll use that as a clip at another point in the video. You would have seen that already. Or in the future. Anyway, let's have a look at this building, wow. So you've got the stairs, there's obviously a stairwell, you've got windows there. Got the old LNWR sort of covers of having white and black as a whole. Trains to Bramhall, Cheadlehume, Stockport and Manchester with the old pointy hand. I wonder if there's a to the train sign somewhere. Oh, a waiting room, let's have a look in there. Well, right, I don't want to go in, I'm not waiting for a train, but look at that, that looks nice, doesn't it? Very nice indeed. There's a bin blowing in the breeze for you Jeff Marshall fans. There's a, a way out sign with the old hand. No to the trains yet though. Well, why would I see a to the train sign? I'm at the trains. Milk urns, milk churns. They're probably quite old, probably full of cheese. Another bench that does not lie on that point. Another one. And there we see here the West Coast Main Line, Macclesfield Branch. If you want a common train spot here, I really hope you like 323s. Pendolinos and Voyagers because that's all you get. Northern operate their 323s, you've got the Avanti West Coast Pendolinos and you've got the Cross Country Voyagers. Now they often run Super Voyagers as well and Voyagers in tandem so you do get a bit of variety and I think there's one or two freight trains every now and again. Very rare. But you never get any steam through here, that's a the point. They never really come through here, they always go via crew but that's okay because we have a lamp room. Yes indeed. There's a station master. Oh, he's been locked in. Shame. Oh, wow, look, telegraph office. Amazing. Uh, oh, guys, we have a notice. Be happy. That's the most important notice that you'll find. Luggage rack. Goods office. There's so much still here. It's crazy. Don't know how much is original and how much is preserved. That's the thing. Another bench. Doesn't lie. Points and collieries. Now, here we go. Um, a fake wagon being proud of their railway history and have every right to be. Big sign. Doesn't lie. Uh, anyone know what these mean? MS376BR But yeah, uh, this is Poynton Station and this is like a, a mini special video on Poynton Station Now, I do know that there is an abandoned railway running towards the station and I think I've just found it <laughs> Let's have a look and see what we can find
So I've just consulted the old maps and I have indeed found an abandoned railway. What a bonus. This is the remains of the Pointing Gas Works. Um, I, I don't think this area is accessible by any means. This is probably the closest we're going to get. So this is now an official abandoned video. I have seen something abandoned and there's a fair bit of infrastructure still here. Anyway, let's point the camera in the right direction for once and have a look. So you can see here we've got this wall poking out through the undergrowth here. Uh, it goes behind this tree and it carries on that way. So this is looks like the old railway track bed there. It doesn't come out too well on video, but I'm going to put my finger where things are. So this is the... Oh, that's a bit close. This is the front wall here. Then you've got the track bed here. Then you've got the embankment on the other side there. So you've got embankment, track bed, wall. I hope that comes out a bit. I'm going to try and zoom out to get the bigger picture. So you've got this wall running along the front end here. Behind that is a level area, just there. Then you've got your embankment there. And that runs off that away. And we will find that later in a future video while I explore that line. Because I know where that goes. That ends up going to the Prince's Incline. And I've got that booked in for another video later on. It's quite a long walk, so I'm waiting for the weather to be less... Anyway, the gas works are just over here. And if you zoom in in this area, well, I'm going to zoom in. So you've got a hole there. And you've got another one there. And you've got some other brickwork over there. Now, I imagine this is probably the best example you can actually get of seeing this, as um, in summer, this would be completely overgrown, and you'd have no chance of seeing this infrastructure. We're just going to walk down this platform extension here, which is built just on stilts. So that's nice. You can see quite a lot more. Uh, let's go to the end of the platform and see if we can get even better view. There is, over there, Brick Circle. That is this gas cylinder. I'm planning to overlay a map and I hope I, I hope I do it. Look, can you see that there? Brick. If I raise the camera up, is it snowing? For real? Are you actually serious? Well, really hope I didn't drop my phone down there because I'm never getting that back. As you can see, I'm now walking on this part of the map here because the station has been extended. So we're now on a longer station than the 1888 station that was obviously here, the 1882 one, sorry. So there's another piece of wall sticking out there and this um i'll follow it on the map so this goes off this way down towards prince's incline and over the other side of pointon and that's where we plan to go in the future video anyway that's for the future this is now and as i said it has started snowing and it's just turned to rain so it was pleasant for like a minute okay I've inadvertently shown you all three kinds of trains at Pointon Station. So with that, I can now definitely wrap the video up. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time on Abandoned. <laughs>